Okay guys, I'm doing a little detour today because we have to go over to Germany, but I'm over at Old School Toys again. So the shop has recently started carrying more vintage stuff. They used to have a ton of it online, but now they're starting to put it in the shop. A couple months ago, Vince and I, we went over there. It was a really good time. They basically had these two glass cases, but right now as I'm walking in, I can already see that the vintage stuff is spreading out. Now, what doesn't help is that I've been following them on Instagram and Facebook and they've been popping up stuff that has been coming in during the weeks. So, saw some things and I was like, hopefully not everything's sold yet online and there's still some stuff at the shop. Anyways, I was in the neighborhood so I had to drop by. After all, I had my eyes set out for a plane I saw in one of the pickup photos. Because oh, I've been checking out the Facebook page yeah. and you guys... I've got some crazy stuff and I walk in and there's a freaking tub of tailspin stuff. So let's go and check out what they got in here. Check this out. We got one of these big guys over here. Tailspin's blue sea duck. Uh, it's got all of the, the different accessories to it. This one's a beater, but got a ton of blues in here. Let's see if there's any of the guys I'm missing. So actually, I think this is the last one I needed. Don Carnage. So I already have his plane, but, well, you need both the planes, so. And yes, this is Playmates Disney Tailspin. It's Blue Sea Duck, the dependable courier service. This thing really floats, has fast spinning propellers, retractable landing gear, a jet ski cord, and you can fit two characters inside. This is one of those Playmate lines that actually didn't fully deliver or some stuff got canceled along the way. So it was basically the last item I needed in the collection. I'm still missing the accessories for the action figures, but I really wanted to get the Sea Duck. The Disney Afternoon programming had some great shows, but what I love about what Playmates did for Tailspin and Darkwing Duck is the cartoon accurate figures they made, but also very detailed vehicles that look just like they flew out of the cartoon. So yeah, I'm picking out the best looking one out of the bunch over here. Am I gonna pick up Sea Duck today? I don't know. I don't know yet because they have so much cool stuff in the glass cases once again. <laughs> of food fighters over here even some of the later ones the color variants you got the scoop sherbet over here with the orange really nice for 85 euros then we have the fry chopper so a lot of um the vehicles as well there's still some uh there's still some cops figures left which is good and uh some beastioids or uh infaceables these are cool swat cats in the back just missing uh the fort member in the line and yeah some turtles got some turtles we got some turly gang that's always good and some carded stuff over here really like the wing nut yeah as you know these guys have always been stocking up on new stuff so they got pops they got all of the new releases like the NECAs they got the Nacelle toys they got Star Wars anything new you want to get like these awesome Super 7 turtles you can get over here but check this out there's freaking my monster pets and my pet monsters here so we got an incomplete guonk right here for 60 euros then we got ooh, nicely the my pet monster with all of the chains and everything over here here's another one and alus tremblor this one's really nice they got 159 on this guy right here uh, i have i have the red lust trembler but i don't have this one this is cool and then one thing that kind of caught me by surprise was actually finding a whole bunch of 90s carded action figures over here so they got the troll warriors right here this one with the crossbow action wow there's there's a ton of them over here check this out this is so freaking nice uh here we go free spirit you got the protector lars variant right here who else do we have the gatekeeper these are so colorful oh this one looks awesome love that and what else do we have here oh that's kind of like the same one lars the protector once again 
So yeah, we got the Troll Warriors. This is a fun line, obviously. And a ton of masks. So over here, we have the mask. I think this one is done by Kenner. Okay, this one is done by Kenner, so none of the Toy Island ones. But over here, we got the animated series Kenner. Here we got the mask from Zero to Hero line by Kenner. This was based off of the movie. As you can see over here, they got the head pop in actions. They don't actually really head pop. You have to do it all yourself. But uh, yeah, this is one Kenner line. And then they went even further uh, with this guy over here, the wolf. And some of the uh, <laughs> Italian ones, the Zero Amito. Check it out by Gigi. Uh, this tall guy over here. Uh, these are freaking awesome. I love this Rambo type of dude. Then this is pretty epic. This is kind of cool. Don't really know what this is. This is made by Gulliver, SOS Commandos, Contra o Terror, Matone. This one looks cool. Check this out over here. These are pretty cool. I saw a couple of one of these over in the glass cases as well. SOS Commandos by Gulliver. Commandos against Terror. These are figures with five points of articulation made in Brazil. So it's definitely a line I'm going to have to look a bit deeper into. Perhaps it's something I want to start collecting. So we got two of these on card right here. This one's looking a bit more menacing than the other one. We got 55 on that, but we also have Stargate figures on card here. We got Last Action Hero on card and Hook figures. Check it out. There's a little Captain Hook action. Got the Lost Boys. And obviously we need some Peter Pan for it as well. So yeah, just stuck in between all, all the other toys right here. Here we got some more Super 7s. We got some reaction figures, some Iron Maiden figures right here, Rancid. That looks epic. And wow, what is this? Ero Horribles. Whoa, Fungus Mungus. Green Toxic. I, I, is this like a new thing? This looks freaking epic. I love that. We got a Mad Ball Slobulus, one of the later series one. Ooh, really like that. Looks cool. And this I have not seen before. We got some gem actually in the back over here. Sneaked away, kind of snuck away over there. But uh, yeah, check this out. 25 on some of these. I have no clue what what this all means right here, but uh, made by Saban World. Looks newer because they actually have uh, Facebook <laughs> uh, links on it. <laughs> but these, these are quite funny. <laughs> Look at how cool these Mad Ball knockoffs are. Got the clown, the creepy clown. Wow, that's cool. This dude right here, all right, epic. And then we have some spitballs, bit it spitballs. There's a couple fun ones in here for sure. Check that out. And here, here we go. <laughs> God, they're keeping this from me. They got some Dick Tracy right here. And Baloo, Super Baloo, or Tailspin. Which ones do they have? They got Molly, got Kit. Oh, they got Louie on card here. And which is the last one? Another Molly, so. I was hoping, I was hoping to get like a Dawn Carnage on card or something like that, but. Still cool to see, still cool to see. Then over here we got some new street sharks. These look pretty epic. I have, I have not seen them yet. So it's always very cool to come over to old school toys because they have all the new stuff. They have the old biker mice, but also the newer ones. And in the back, there's even some more uh, Roger Rabbit. Who framed Roger Rabbit? So here we got Charlie on card, looking pretty minty. And over here we got some G.I. Joe's on card and got some Ninja Force. Ooh, a fun school Storm Shadow. That looks pretty epic. Some more Ninja Force, but here we got the Ocean Warriors. Now, as, as you know from one of the last videos, the plastic on here is very brittle, but check this out. This one looks epic, kind of like a Moby Lick guy over here. We got a Ripster and we got this Mega Shark or Jab. Oh, and in the back we got another, wow. This, out. this is Storm Shadow version 3. 
on card ninja ninja force it's freaking nice really really nice now over here we got the last one check that out so we got the ocean warriors over here they're 20 each obviously without the accessories but check it out oh here we go captain Pluto. Check that out. Captain Pollution for not 139. And we got the Euro variant Duke Nukem in here as well. Got some, some nice Galaxy Warrior action. Cool. Some uh, Pirates of Dark Water stuff. And more Boglins. Nice. So, another cool thing they had over here was the Secret Wars helicopter or the turbocopter right here i don't know what it is today with airplanes and helicopters but i'm into it this looks to be complete stickers are kind of like falling off but i mean what do you expect from like a what is it a 40 year old toy by now you got the captain america in there and all the accessories now, Secret Wars is a line that I love to collect for, but it has surprisingly a lot of vehicles. It was a collab between Marvel and Mattel, but Mattel really tried to keep their costs at a low. Or reusing molds within the line to absurdity, honestly. But also for their vehicles, they decided to look into the past and reuse some molds. They decided to get the turbocopter shell from their 1975 line called Heroes in Action, but added some rocket racks on. Now, I'm not sure if there's any helicopters used within the Secret Wars comics, but I know for sure that Captain America got one and Doctor Doom got basically the same Doom helicopter or Turbo helicopter. It's the same thing, just different colors. Now, this was part of the much rarer Series 2 line, and these would come with a figure included. And you know what the really funny thing is? Is that this Turbocopter mold was actually also reused for the SOS Commandos by Gulliver. That's right, it was used as the Terracopter or the Green Eagle or Bad Eagle. But that's actually not where this rabbit hole ends. So I decided to look even further into it, but keep it for a upcoming toy history video. So be sure to subscribe for that video and more 80s and 90s toy video content. Oh, I got the Sea Duck over there already, I, I don't know. And they're telling me they have a ton of stuff in the back, so. Maybe let's go check out that first. Now they have a lot in the shop, but if I'm taking a look at these pictures, there's gotta be more. And I actually get to check out the back room. I can't wait to see which treasures we can uncover in here. We're in the back room. First thing I see is freaking lantern spit balls. Check this out. These are like the cutesy version of Mad Balls. And they got like a little squirting action going on over here, which is supposedly like very, very hard, you know, they're like, don't say it, spray it. It sprays up to 18 feet. On the back, you can see all the colorful guys. I wonder where the skull, oh, the skull is in there. Wow, okay. Might have to ask about this one. I'll, I'll probably ask about this one. <laughs> I just did a video on these and they look so harmless compared to the other Mad Balls inspired lines. In the end, I decided to go with Jacko Spitz and Lockjaw because their colors pop with the back card that was the same on every single one of these. We got the Big Jim Tiger here as well, as you can see, and some, ooh, some very nice, a lot more visionaries in here. This is apparently the stuff they got in right now, so I see some Street Shark awesomeness. We got a Moby Lick over here. We got the Action Force ATT Blitz Buggy right below there. And apparently we, we got clearance to go through these boxes right here, which is awesome. I mean, like, here you go. You got, got some Truly Woolies. You got some, some uh, what are they called again? Snuggle Bums. Let's see, what's in box number one? Okay, Bucky O'Hare stuff. You remember that game, the NES game for Bucky O'Hare? It's awesome, right? Here you got the the double bubble with both of the things in it. This thing has like a, a croaking action to it. Amazing, so I actually already own the whole line, so not really necessary to, uh, to check out what they got in here. But let's see what else they have. Already, I already saw something I really want. <laughs> Damn, this is Dungeons and Dragons. I, I, I already know I need that guy, but... 
this is Black Star and Troll Warriors on it, but it's got the Ultimate Warrior from the Star Toys line out of Spain. This is a tough one to get. 149 on that. He's got the, the he's got the extra bracelets and stuff and the knee pads. Looking really nice. This is actually one I'm missing. I don't know if I want to spend that much today. But uh yeah, let's check out some more stuff in here. We've got some more wrestlers, some Soma ones. These are the over top guys. I already owned this one. Canadian Hawk Wrestler. 18 euros on that. That's actually really good. That's not really expensive. Okay. What else? We got some more Black Star in here. And some more trills. All good. <laughs> More freaking wrestlers, okay. I know nothing about wrestling. Do you know anything about wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff knows nothing about <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> okay, I got, got the Macho Man in here. Uh, I don't know, I really should have Maddie around for stuff like this, but uh, got Jimmy Snuka for 14, got Hot Rod. They average around 10 to like 20 in here, it seems. Ooh, you got the... Canadian Mountie for 12. That's awesome, right? Yeah. Do you have a favorite wrestler, Jeff? Is it this guy? Ricky the Dragon? <laughs> it must be. <laughs> <laughs> I only know the, the Undertaker. The Undertaker? Yeah, I think he's in here. I think he's in here. But, uh, yeah. I'm, I mean, I need to check out the Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> tub. Really piquing my interest. Ooh, okay. So we've got lots of this guy here, North, the North Lord. And we have this guy, Drex, with his shield, but without anything else for 59. Not sure, I might want to hold out till he has like all his weapons and everything before committing to something like that. But as you can see, they got the dragons over here, the bronze dragon for. 85 with the um, saddle. And here you got the, the Gryffindor, what is it called? Dragon. Okay. He is missing his wings, but he's 25, so still pretty good. Unfortunately, apart from this guy over here, which I don't have, there's nothing else in here. They do have a Grim Sword, which is always, always cool. stuff over here. Got some Care Bear action. Checking this out. With the Care Bear friends. <laughs> or are they called the cousins? I, I don't remember. Here we go. More Care Bears. I mean, I'd buy them, but my kids would just run off with them. Street Sharks! Hey! Got another Streaks. We got some Extreme Dinosaurs in here as well. But is there anything out of the ordinary in here? I don't know. We've got the bad rap, raptor, stegosaurus. We have <laughs> the mighty warsaurus with the weapons and the rockets on the back. That's pretty cool. 20 on that guy. Stegos. What's in here? What's in the big box? I don't know. <gasps> Brave Star. Okay. Wow. Check this out. Yeah. Marshall Brave Star with the what is it called? Like the sheriff's badge? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> and over here. Okay. These are Caesar masks with Marshall Brave Star on it. On it. 1986 filmation. This is very fragile. <laughs> wow. And then we got. This guy over here. Do they have the laser packs? These are the laser packs, I think. The laser fire backpack. Wow, this seems to be like almost a complete run. Got um Thunderstick? That's his name. He's called <laughs> My Name's Thunderstick. <laughs> Y'all wanna hang out? <laughs> Tex Hex. I, I kinda like need a Tex Hex complete. Mm. Hey, they got plenty. They got plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Okey -dokey. 
very cool. And uh, there's a couple things on card and in the box over here. We got a handlebar. Check that out. I'm gonna pop this in very carefully so it can close without it touching it. There we go. Yeah. Very cool back room, honestly. Mark and you, and uh, I, I mean, I couldn't leave here without get, picking anything up, you know, because I gotta get the new spin balls. I mean, the new one, the old ones. I just released a video on this, and obviously, I know I reached out for this. Yeah, Mark, tailspin. And, uh, tailspin. <laughs> I already have uh, the helicopter, or no, I already have the plane that goes to Don Carnage, but I need the one for Baloo, so I'm gonna pick up this beautiful sea duck. Finally, for the collection. For water skiing. For water skiing. <laughs> oh yeah, indeed. <laughs> Epic. So, yeah, thank you so much once again. Uh, so you. guys, yeah, if you're in Germany, Belgium, or the Netherlands, this place is pretty central. So come over to Old School Toys in Orst. Um, they got a ton of more vintage stuff since the last time we did a video over here, and we will be back. Now, obviously, I was holding back a little bit over at Old School Toys, but that's because we have the Euro trip coming up. Tomorrow, Maddie and I are gonna leave for France and Luxembourg and Switzerland and Italy and stuff like that. So, be sure to subscribe for more videos because we're gonna do a 10-day Euro toy trip and hunt and trip. It's gonna be insane all along. The Attic Invaders are coming along, Empire Toys, Aaron is coming along, so it's going to be a freaking great time. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to stay up to date with what we're doing during the Euro trip, you can always go and follow me on my socials. I got Instagram and I got Facebook where I post on daily and uh, we'll, we'll put some awesome stuff on there. We also have some exclusive stuff on the Patreon and the Patreon Discord, so check that out and also check out the memberships we have on YouTube. That's going to be it for this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye.